Welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial on this channel. So today's tutorial will be making this uh, shift dress with high load uh, ruffles on the sleeves. So now we want to start off the drafting of the shift dress. Okay, it's a shift gown. So what we have here is the center front and it's going to be the center back as well. So the necessary vertical lines you need for this shift dress is, I'm doing this on a small scale. We have the chest, we have the waist, we have the hip, and we have the floor level. So once you have getting, gotten your measurements uh, on your waist, your hip, and the floor level, your chest line, you know how to get it. So our chest line is going to be determined using your hip measurement divide by 6 plus 1.25 so this is my chest line and i'm going to measure my natural neckline so my natural neckline is simply my bust divide by 12 whatever you have you impute it on the waist and impute uh, sorry on the depth and on the width now we are making the front piece of this dress first but we are using this pattern both for the back and for the front. So right here, I'm taking my shoulder measurement and I'm going to drop my shoulder me measurement by one inch as usual. And I'll connect it from the tip this way. I'll transfer my shoulder measurement on the chest line as you can see. What I'm trying to create here is my arm hole. So the armhole part now, I'm going to divide what I have by 2 to get the mid armhole. And from here, I'll go in by 0 0.75 and connect back. I'm going to measure my chest line. That is my bust circumference divided by 4. Whatever your bust is divided by 4, you mark. Whatever your waist is divided by 4, you mark. Whatever your hip is divided by 4, you mark as well so whatever i have on the hip divide by four i'll bring it down to the floor level okay so here on the floor level i'll connect a straight line and here on the waist i will just come in with my um with my curve ruler and connect from hip to waist and here on the chest line i'll just connect what i have here to the chest line so you can see what we have here then finally i'm going to connect my arm hole as you can see so now we are done the next we want to do is to add our shift allowances so for the chest line where we have the bust circumference i'm adding one and on the waist line i'm adding one for one and a half on the hip i'm adding one and a half and on the waist um adding one and half sorry on the floor level so i'm going to connect the shifts so this is what makes it shift okay so what we have here is fitted then this allowance we added will make it shift from the fitted to the shift dress so now this is what we have and the next we want to do is to construct the back neckline so for this you can see we have a high collar neck there so i'll not be um, making any neckline right i'm using the natural neckline which is a total neckline so i'll just extend for the button hole so what i have here is my button allowance okay this will be the button allowance for the front gown then we want to construct the back right now. So to construct the